Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great. This is a video on how to make the Apple Trackpad 2 USB-C version work with Windows. So the Magic Trackpad is one of the best, if not the best trackpad you can get, even within the Windows space. I pulled the plug, I had to make some digging. So let me show you how to make it work properly and what caveats you are most likely to find. So this is the Magic Trackpad. It's huge. It's way, way softer to the touch than any other touchpad you can find on Windows. You can see the Apple logo behind it. Here is the USB-C port. Talking about the price, if you buy it white, it should be $129. And the black one costs $149. That's a huge investment. But here's the thing. I work editing audio constantly and over long periods of time. So a while back, I started developing pain on my wrist and elbow. So I sold my trackball and bought an Apple trackpad. And here's what you can find on your first experience. So once you plug it for the first time, it's just a generic pointing device, no tap to click, no gestures, just move the pointer and press the trackpad to click. That's basically it. So there are a couple of solutions that you can try for this one. Let me know in the comments what worked for you or what you've tried, if that worked. I've tried the Trackpad++ Plus Plus GitHub driver. That didn't work at all. I tried the Imbusho Mac Precision touchpad drivers. That didn't really work out right out of the box. We'll go over that later. I tried also the official 2021 Apple driver. That didn't work either. I tried Magic Utilities and it did work. It was pretty good. Uh, there's just a couple of caveats that I found with it. The first one is that it, it lacks pinch zoom with exactly the USB-C kind of trackpad. You can't really customize the gestures that much. Also, it messes with the normal mouse usage. And hey, I don't really have a problem paying $10 a year, but this didn't really solve all of my issues. Now, the one that really worked both over USB-C and over Bluetooth was the Vita Plantamura's Magic Trackpad 2 for Windows. You get native Windows touchpad functionality and also configuration. You get two finger scroll, pinch zoom, three and four finger gestures, basically anything you can ask for. So let's start with the installation. It says that uh, Bluetooth would not work, but we'll get there later. I have my Magic Trackpad 2 connected to the PC via USB cable. I will install the Imbusho driver as instructed. Download it from this link. Right click. Unzip it. Enter the folder and we will find a .env file. That's the one that we have to right click and install. Once that's done, download the Vito Plantamura control panel and drivers patch from the releases page on his GitHub site. Unzip it. Then when I'm in the folder, I'll open the control panel. Windows is going to complain about it. Don't worry, we'll just keep going. Then we have to click on install driver. Now, if your trackpad is lightning port, you're up. That's all there is to it. However, if your trackpad is a USB-C trackpad like mine, here comes the nitty gritty stuff. I promise that it's going to be worth it. The thing is that Windows doesn't know what to do with the drivers we just installed. So we will have to go to the device manager in Windows. We'll go there by right clicking on the Windows start button. Go to device manager. Here are all of our devices and we will go to the human interface devices. There will be a long list and I will start checking the properties for each one of those until I find the ones that I need. We have to go to details and open the device instance path. 
and it should say USB VID underscore zero five etc etc underscore zero one. Now go to driver, update driver, browse my computer for drivers. Let me pick from the list available. Here's where we're going to ask Windows to use one specific driver for this one. We're basically looking for the Big Sing Wang Imbusho driver. Once we find it on the left list, we'll select on the right list Apple USB C Precision Touchpad device in user mode. This is pretty important, or else it won't work, as far as I know. And with this, we're done. You can see the trackpad is working. I have my gestures, I can scroll with two fingers. I can move the mouse, the sensitivity is different, it feels different, more like a Windows Precision driver. Now, if we open the Windows settings, we can go to Bluetooth and devices. And if we're using a desktop computer, we're going to see for the first time the touchpad section. And in here, we can set it up however we like. Uh, we can set up the gestures uh, natively for Windows. So three finger tap, I usually use it as a middle mouse button, uh, swipe up, swipe down, uh, swipe either direction with three finger gestures and on the bottom, four finger gestures. I can also keep using the trackpad control panel and this will give me some hardware configuration over the trackpad, mostly on the haptic feedback. Now that we made sure that this is working, we can go ahead and set up the Bluetooth drivers. Uh, I want to thank with all my heart, David FI01, who opened uh, an issue on Vito Palantamura's GitHub page about how to get the Bluetooth drivers working. We will have to install the Apple official Bluetooth driver. This was submitted to GitHub by LC700X. We just have to download it from the releases page as we did earlier. With these drivers, we only have to install the Bluetooth driver, only the Bluetooth driver. The other folder, we can ignore it. Install it just the same way. I'll just disconnect the USB cable from my trackpad and make sure that it's findable via Bluetooth. Windows should have no problem connecting to it. And now we have to go to the device manager again. We're looking again for human interface devices and our trackpad should appear as Bluetooth HID device. It should be the only one. So open the properties, change the drivers. And this time we're looking for Apple drivers and we should see Apple Bluetooth Precision Trackpad. And once that's done, it should update the driver. We click on OK, and we just have to restart our Windows PC we should have our Apple trackpad working over Bluetooth. Again, it will keep working as normal. The only thing is that over Bluetooth, the Vito Plantamura's control panel doesn't work. So if we have to change any configuration for the haptic feedback, we have to do it over USB-C. Don't worry, if you disconnect the USB-C cable, the configuration will remain. Again, all of the three and four gestures are working. We can go to Bluetooth and devices and settings to change the touchpad settings as we see fit. And that's basically it. I hope this was helpful, that it worked for you. Let me know in the comments 
how it went for you. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that this video was out so that people like me who wanted or needed this device to work had a way to make it work and take care of yourselves.